Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. Here's some fun math that is making the rounds. 2 is equal to 1 plus 1. 1 is, of course, equal to the square root of 1. And 1 is equal to the product of minus 1 and minus 1. Apply the square root to each of the terms. The square root of minus 1 is equal to the imaginary constant i. i times i is equal to i squared and i squared is equal to minus 1. So 2 is equal to 1 plus minus 1, but 1 plus minus 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, 2 is equal to 0. We have an absurd conclusion that 2 is equal to 0, but we started out that 2 is equal to 1 plus 1, and every step was seemingly true. Can you find the mistake? In order to explain this supposed false proof in detail, let me go through each line step by step. The first equation is 2 is equal to 1 plus 1. This is, of course, a true equation. We can just input it into Wolfram Alpha and just verify that we are starting off with a true equation. There's no problem here. Now we replace 1 with the square root of 1. And this will, of course, be no problem. 2 is equal to 1 plus the square root of 1. So we go to the third line. It seems a little more complicated because we're taking the square root of the product of two negatives. But that's okay. Negative 1 times negative 1 will equal 1, and we are reduced to the square root of 1, which will then be equal to 1. So 2 is equal to 1 plus the square root of minus 1 times minus 1. Let's now go to the fourth line. When we input this into Wolfram Alpha, we see this is where all the trouble begins. This is not a true equation. So something has gone wrong from the third line to the fourth line. So what is the mistake when we go from the third line to the fourth line where we have applied the square root to each of these negative terms? It is not the case that the square root of the product of negative one with negative one is equal to the product of the square root of minus 1 with the square root of minus 1. Now, a student could be forgiven for applying this rule because in class we are often taught the rules for square roots, and we have to blindly just memorize these rules and apply them so that we can solve all the test problems in time. It would seem that the square root of a product is equal to the product of the square roots. So why is it wrong to apply the rule in this case? Well, most students don't look at the fine print that when you have the rules for square roots, there are usually some conditions. So in this case, they might specify that the numbers are both positive. So you can't apply it in this case because x and y are equal to minus 1. And clearly, when you apply the product rule to negative numbers, you end up with absurd results like 2 is equal to 0. So rules in math are important, and we should follow them or else the entire universe could fall apart. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.